Good morning everyone. Once again from the beautiful Ho Chi Minh City. It is 7 a.m. and uh, I'm on my way to do the Kuchi Tunnels tour today. So the Kuchi Tunnels is effectively a defense system uh, in the Kuchi district of Ho Chi Minh City. So I'm going to tell you guys all about that a little later. Just to let you know guys, um, when I got you yesterday, um, I effectively only had time to freshen up and then later the evening I went for something to eat and wow guys I had some braised beef stew with bread at this place called uh, not Boko what is it TT oh yeah guys you're gonna tell me again anyway so they're right next to my hotel actually and it was amazing I didn't even have to walk far Look at these tunnels guys, I showed some of these tunnels last night. Um, well not the tunnels, the alleyways. But the main road is that side and then there's another one to that side so... Oh, it's so intricate. And if you go that way, and that way you get to that main walking street as well. So I'll show you guys, I'll give you guys a full tour of that um, as the day goes by. But let me just say guys, I took a walk down uh, the main strip, uh, I forget the name of the road, but it's a main strip with all the clubs and restaurants and it's, it's just where things are happening. I uh, showed a little bit of that last night and the scene is insane. Guys, I'm really loving Ho Chi Minh City thus far. I haven't seen much of it yet because it was dark. So um, today after the tour, I will do a a day tour of Ho Chi Minh City and see what's up in the city and uh, hopefully you'll find some value in what I show you in the video. Alright, so my guys here. <laughs> There's a whole lot of uh, hostels and they call it dormitory hotels down these alleys as well. So there's many buses pitching people for different tours. And we're just waiting on some more people and I think we're also waiting on the van to come and fetch us. So uh, I think we might be running slightly late. We were supposed to uh, leave at 7.45. It's already 5 after 8. Alright, let's go. place where they do this craft and the craft is all with the uh, eggshell and seashell there's another type of shell I'll, I'll get that for you as well. 
Oh, no camera. Okay. All right, so I just confirmed it's only eggshell and seashell, and all these crafts guys are made by hand. And all the people that are making them are handicapped, so they are the second and third generation uh, Vietnamese. And this is uh, uh, 50 years after the war. So I'll get some more detail on it. I'll put some more detail in the description and I'll also put some links so you can understand what it's all about. But the artwork is next level, guys. It's unbelievably good. Mm, items for sale outside. Some essentials, fruit, snacks, and uh, I think they also make some smoothies and stuff here. Drinks. So I just bought a banana for ten thousand real. Uh, sorry, for ten thousand dong. Right. And there's the smoothie station. Peas, smoothies, tomato, juice. network of tunnels within the Kuchi district of Ho Chi Minh City. These ones specifically are 121 kilometers long and uh, these tunnels they form part of a larger network of tunnels that underline the entire country. As you can see by the amount of buses and obviously also the people it is a massive massive tourist attraction out here in Ho Chi Minh City. Just for your information, this is the plan of the visiting points. Alright, those are the things we're going to be visiting. There are some bunkers as well. And then there's also the, obviously the tunnels. We have a handle to hold it, keep balance, and then two hands up. Like that. And sit up. So, no fighting actually took place at the tunnels. So these were just like hiding spots. So, the tunnels were used by the Viet Cong soldiers as hiding spots during combat. So, then obviously, they would use this tunnels as a communication and supply routes and uh, for hospitals for food and for numerous weapons for some of the northern Vietnamese fighters it's so fascinating guys and the way the tunnels are constructed wow it's unbelievable this is so surreal and I mean guys these are things that we only see in movies but this is the real deal this is what really happened out here there are three levels down and I think they got down to, I think close to, I'll get you the details, but they couldn't go any further down because then they hit the water. But wow, guys, 250 kilometers worth of tunnels throughout. Like that, enemy, they came, they didn't know where bamboo trap, they stepped, where they stepped to know what happened if they fell down. Oh. A little bit danger. A little, a little bit. Yes. Exactly. Wow. It started uh, to notice in what time Vietnamese people we use the two kind of trap here. And so please, we uh, just come around here. Yeah. We did the original part of tunnel. We did the original. <laughs> Ooh, you can't see a thing. Okay. 
I don't care, but just try. <laughs> You're waiting everywhere. I don't care about that. Okay. Wow. Local people in Uchi area. Or oh, exactly in southern and they have to observe. Ventilation means ventilation. You know that? It is ventilation. ventilation. Gunshots in the background. Wow, man, I can't imagine uh, living in a time like this. We are so blessed that we don't deal with this on a daily basis. Um, obviously, there are some countries at the moment who are dealing with these kind of things, and uh, but I can just imagine, guys, this the torment just hearing these sounds every day. And from what I understand, guys, that. Um, I showed you the bamboo trap earlier so they would set these bamboo traps because apparently the Vietnamese soldiers didn't want to kill anybody they, would, they just wanted to hurt the enemy so they would stop hunting them the Vietnamese stayed underground for 20 years 20 years guys with very little oxygen and I showed you earlier on also the um, the uh, ventilation um, they created these uh, termite hills that look like termite hills so the enemy would think it's termite hills but it was actually ventilation but it was so little ventilation so they would live underground for 20 years and only come out at night there were various types of uh, traps that they set earlier on, I showed you the, earlier on I showed you the bamboo trap these are actually the metal traps and steel traps and on the traps, on the pins of the traps, they would put poison, so it would be snake poison, scorpion poison, and, and poison from certain trees. And it's also rumored to believe that many Vietnamese soldiers lost their lives, not by combat, but via these traps and the poison that was, under, that was underground. And they were inhaling that all of the time. So they were dying from malaria and all sorts of other diseases because of the heat and the rain and it's wet. Military workshop. This is one of the bunkers. In what farm enemy chop a lot of in Vietnam? It's a mafia. We get a TNT with point of the camera.
Back on in, guys. Might get dark in here. Wow, guys, that was intense. Kiểm tra quân số đủ chưa? Ok, bye bye, body. It's a I was at the next level. So let's go check the hiding spot in war time. Oh, yeah. It's hot in here, guys. Whoa. This is intense. I have no idea how people survived in those tunnels and those bunkers for 20 years. Wow, guys. That is next level stuff. Ooh. Oh, even at some people call me now. People call Jukka. This one right here. Try it, everybody. This is a little tiny. How lunch? Yeah. Mm. We buy yesterday. And what's the thing you put the peanut into? I think it's some sugar and peanuts. Okay. Oh, yes, that's right. I tasted now. Coconut milk. Tap in sugar. And peanuts. This mm. is a Indonesia time. This is raw food. Oh, so I see. We have no money to. And it's filling. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, cassava. How? Good kids. Good kids. Eight. Cassava. People generally. Like a sweet potato. Okay. Not even four.